right now. Our cameras are inside a uh, courtroom at the U.S. District Court for the Eastern District of Pennsylvania. That's at the courthouse in Market Street in Philadelphia, if you're familiar with it. The case is Pocono Springs uh, versus th three, court three companies. They are uh, Pocono Springs Bottled Waters Manufacturers, and it is a product liability case. Let's listen in. Concerning the uh, oxy compound. Well, you may do that, although you don't have to recover with this witness everything that was covered in his lengthy direct examination. I don't intend to, Your Honor. I'm not going to well, pursue this with any length. At least some of the questions that have been asked so far have uh, gotten into areas that were, in my judgment, covered in the direct examination. You're in redirect examination. This witness has been on the stand for many days. I, I understand uh, that. conclude as quickly as you can. Okay. I'll let you these guys. Is plaintiff's 222A the exhibit you were referring to? Yes, it's one of them. Okay. Now, Mr. Weingart also uh, supposedly talked to you about results that he had gotten from Gibraltar Biological Laboratories. Do you recall those questions? Yes, I do. Okay. <clears throat> And let me show you Plaintiff's Exhibit 231, which are the results of biological laboratories in test results. Uh, and I believe Mr. Kramer had placed the conversations that Mr. Weingart had with you concerning these test results sometime during the week of January 15th. Do you yes. recall that? Yes, I recall that. Okay. Looking at the Gibraltar test results, Plaintiff's Exhibit 231, can you tell me uh, what it says there as to the date it was completed? <clears throat> 1 That would be after Mr. Weingart talked to you about it. Yes, it would. <clears throat> and uh, did the Gibraltar test results identify any bacteria in the, tr in the December 26 sample of your water? And let me refer you to the second page. Would you repeat the question, please? Do those test results identify uh, uh, any, or do they make any findings of bacteria in the December 26 sample? <clears throat> yes, there is an identification of bacteria. Okay. And what was the source of the sample that was sent to Gibraltar Labs? Let me just ask another question. Did Pocono send the sample to Gibraltar Labs? Yes, we did. And what kind of bacteria did Gibraltar Labs find in the, uh, the sample? Judge, this is not in evidence. It was in Mr. the report. I, I know, but Mr. Uh, Mr. Dugan objected to this as hearsay as to the contents of the report. And it's not in evidence. Well, the question. Uh, now, now he's going to testify to the contents. Point. The question, uh, as I understood it, this whole line of questioning is related to a conversation between uh, Mr. Weingart of Lester Systems and Mr. Petron. Is that correct? Correct. And it's in furtherance of, of Mr. Weingart's statements to Mr. Petro at or about that time that were he has. Were the statements made before or after the laboratory report was received? I thought the laboratory report was received after the meeting uh, between Mr. Petro and Mr. Uh, That's correct. Robert. It was. Well, then I don't see how the laboratory report is, is relevant to what was said at the meeting. And that's where, I, that, that is my understanding of this line of question. Uh, do you have any uh, other reason why you think this is relevant, Council? 
I do, Your Honor, because it, it impeaches the defendant's theory. Well, you can certainly theory. ask him what was said by Mr. Weingart about the bacteria identified by the Gore labs, but not yet reported in writing at the meeting. Uh, but right, I let don't me think pursue you can it that way. about a report to which you objected. So the objection is sustained. Proceed in accordance with yep. the instructions. <clears throat> Mr. Petro did. What statements, if any, did Mr. Weingart make to you concerning the Gibraltar lab results? Only that they had found a high uh, bacteria count. Okay. And what did, did he say anything further to you about the impact or the, or the significance of such a finding? <clears throat> he did not. <clears throat> now, you were asked the number of questions, I believe, by Mr. Kramer concerning whether or not um, bottles had been filled on the 26th or on the 27th by mistake instead of and dated the 26th. Do you remember those questions? You're talking about December. December of 1989, correct. Your Honor. Yes, I remember those questions. Okay. And <clears throat> take a look at plant, well, on the 27th, did Pocono bottle any other products, or what products, if any, did Pocono bottle on the 27th? Do you know? Again, I believe we bottled our normal runs of uh, PVC, polyethylene containers, and dimmies. Take a look at Plants Exhibit 220A, if you can. That should be up there. These are the production logs. December 22nd? Yes, I have them. 26th and 27th. And do they confirm your recollection? Yes, they do. Okay, what products did you bottle on the 27th? Pocono Springs, one gallon, pure one gallon, and six gallon and five gallon demis. Did you ever have any complaints about any of the products bottled on the 27th? We did not. Are there any uh, reported problems on the 27th with uh, production? There was uh, several bottles that were discarded in the PVC category, and the notation there was uh, necks and bottoms. Do the, in December and January of 1989 and 1990, did Pocono have any other sorts? What was Pocono's only source for its PVC bottles? Pocono's only source for PVC bottles has been Leffler Systems. Let me ref you were asked questions about a January 18th, 1990 letter from Leffler Systems. Do you have that up there? Does it have a number? Oh, excuse me, uh, L83. Recall receiving that letter? <clears throat> yes, I do. There's a reference in there to uh, having a high bacteria count in in August in both PVC and polyethylene bottles. <clears throat> is there not? Yes. Is that a true statement? That is not a true statement. Did you, uh, why not? Because we have never recorded high po high bacteria count in polyethylene bottles. Okay. Uh, there's also a remark attributed to Mr. Prosser. In that, uh... That's it for now, but as the day progresses, we'll return to the U.S. District Court for the Eastern District of Pennsylvania. That's live from Philadelphia as our first day of cameras in the federal courts progresses. Dave Bartlett is president of the Radio and Television News Directors Association. This is a day you've been working for for a long time. What are your reactions? I'm very pleased to see it here, finally. Uh, I wish it were more comprehensive. I wish that... Uh,